Understanding the brain and how it responds to change is a critical piece of the puzzle for getting healthy and staying healthy. First, you need to understand that your brain operates on the same principle as your body, homeostasis. Homeostasis is a fancy word that means don't rock the boat, keep everything the same. Just as your body's physiology works to keep parameters like calcium, blood sugar, and weight stable, so does your brain work to continue whatever behavior it's become used to. It seems to say, okay, I got you here with this behavior and you're alive, so keep doing what you're doing. Behavior change is hard, but the good news is we can change. We know that if you practice a new behavior over and over for a long enough period of time, your brain will eventually decide that this new behavior is the one that needs to be protected and continued. Too rapid a change is interpreted by most brains as a stressful event. Studies of people asked to make major changes show activation on brain scans of the amygdala, which is a small almond-shaped structure in the brain that controls the stress response. If people are asked to make small changes, however, the amygdala does not activate. People who are ultimately successful in making and maintaining a major behavioral change have usually accomplished this through gradual stepwise changes. Another obstacle your brain can manufacture is termed dichotomous thinking. This way of thinking is very common. It's a black and white way of looking at things which can really hinder the journey toward a healthy lifestyle. People who think this way are often very successful in their careers because they tend to be perfectionistic, but in the health arena, this perfectionistic tendency can lead to unhealthy behavior. You think of yourself as either on a diet or off a diet, you're either exercising like crazy or doing no activity at all. You need to look at your life as more of a continuum and not in such an on or off, right or wrong manner. Follow the 80-20 rule. If you follow healthy guideline principles 80% of the time, you'll be healthy. You don't have to be perfect all the time to have good health. In fact, that's worth repeating. You don't have to be perfect to have good health.